Hi, I'm James and I'm from the University of Plymouth and I'm going to be doing a quick demo on how to make a Wi-Fi antenna out of just a Pringles can. <laughs> right, to make a simple Wi-Fi antenna out of just a Pringles can, what you're going to need is a six inch piece of aluminium tubing, a length of all thread with two nylon lock nuts, five one inch washers, one and a half inch piece of 12 gauge solid copper wire, and a scrap piece of plastic like a disc. Another Pringles lid will work fine for that. Now the first thing we need to do, also, sorry, you'll need a connector called a female end connector, which you can see here, and a matching radio pigtail. And the first thing we're going to do is actually try to construct the front collector, which looks like this. To do that, what we need to do is cut the aluminium tubing into four equal pieces of about 1.2 inches, as seen here. And then you need to cut the all thread to exactly five and five eighths of an inch long. Next thing we'll do is actually cut holes in the Pringles lid itself so that the all thread passes through it. And then we'll start actually putting the pieces on. Goes washer first, followed by a piece of tubing, another washer, another piece of tubing. Third washer, another piece of tubing, and it forms a sandwich that goes over the all thread. Now when you get down to your last piece of tubing, your last washer, we then want to stick the plastic disc over the all thread that you've actually made another hole in, and put on the final washer, final piece of tubing, the last washer, and then sandwich that in with the last lock nut, so that you've constructed that you've constructed your front collector. The next thing to do is measure up three and three eighths of an inch from the bottom of the Pringles can and then make a hole big enough for your connector to pass through. Once you've done that what you're going to need to do is actually solder the piece of copper wire onto the other end of the connector as you can see there so that it passes to approximately halfway across the Pringles can itself in the bottom. Next thing you want to do is super glue that connector in place so that it stays there. And then you want to put in the front collector into the actual Pringles can, making sure it doesn't touch the piece of copper wire element. So you need a tiny gap in between the copper wire element and the front collector. Your Pringles antenna now is ready to have the pigtail connected into the connector and connected up to your wireless card. And there you have a simple antenna ready to start picking up signals.